Now in this question, we are given a cumulative frequency diagram that represents the percentage scores of a spelling test sat by Year 7 pupils. And the question asks us which of the following statements are true. So let's have a look at part A first. So part A says that the median mark is 60. Well with cumulative frequency diagrams, to find the median we first need to find out how many people there are in total. Now annoyingly the question does not tell us how many people there are in total, so we're going to have to use the graph. And the way we do that is we look for the highest point on the graph, and we can see that the graph is at its highest right here. And if we read off all the way to the left, we can see that the cumulative frequency here is 100. So we know that there are 100 pupils in total. And now what we do is we take this number 100 and we divide it by 2. Now 100 divided by 2 is 50. And then we go all the way down on the vertical axis until we hit 50. And then what we do is we simply draw all the way across until we intersect the line. And we can see that we intersect the line here. And this point here represents a mark of 60. So we can tell already that the median is 60. And that means that part A is true. So let's move on to part B. Well part B is an easy one because part B says that the median mark is 30. Obviously this is false because we have shown in the previous part that the median is actually 60. So let's move on to part C. So part C says not one pupil got a score above 90. Now what we need to do is have a look at the graph around the 90 and above stage. Well if we look here in this section of graph between 90 and 100, notice that it's flat. And that's very important because actually what this tells us is at 90 we have 100, a cumulative frequency of 100. So that means that 100 people got a mark of 90 or less. So 100 got 90 or less. But then if we go all the way to the end of the graph, which is obviously the maximum of 100 marks, we got that also 100 got 100 or less. So if 100 people got 100 or less, and the same 100 people also got 90 or less, then clearly no one got between 90 and 100. So the answer to this part is true. Now the easy way to spot this is just by noticing that the, the graph is flat here. And that means there is no growth. So there is no one who got above 90. So the answer to this question is A and C.